There you go. Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Shed with me, Mark, and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the Hyperkin Smart Boy. This has been sent over to us from Funstock. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on this and let you know whether it's actually any good or worth buying. That's the question. I personally am a very big fan of Hyperkin and the products they make, but has this gone a little step too far? This was originally a April Fool's joke that uh, Hyperkin put out on their Twitter. They were never intending on making this, but it got so much love from the community that they actually went ahead and made it. Um, the interesting part is the fact that they've made it designed for Samsung and they've made it USB-C only. This is not an iPhone product. Do not buy this if you've got an iPhone. Do not get this as a gift for anyone that has an iPhone. It will not work. You do need a USB-C compatible phone. So the Samsung S8, I think the Samsung S7, and a whole load more. I've got a OnePlus 5, OnePlus 3. Uh, all these phones are compatible because they're USB-C. So in this video, I just want to unbox the product. I want to show you it, show you what it's all about, let you see how it, how it looks and feels, basically. And then I'm going to plug my phone in, and I'm going to show you how it works, what the good points are, what the bad points are, and uh, anything else that I can think of while I'm down there. So let's head on down to the close-up view, and I'm going to show you the Hyperkin Smart Boy. So here we are, this is the Hyperkin Smart Boy in its box right here, look at that. And as always, Hyperkin have done a great job with the box. They love to put these extra finishes in and make it look lovely. Look at that, they've got the corner as always. So there you go, it's very, very simple what's on the box. USB Type-C port, uh, classic style tactile button set, and it says here, smartphone not included, for those of you that are expecting a phone to come in this box. Um, interestingly enough, it does say designed for Samsung. This is one of those uh, accessories that has been optimized for Samsung, yet it does work with pretty much any other Android USB-C device. Uh, on the side, it says adjust smart boy to appropriate size and insert smartphone into devices pictured. Uh, insert GB, GBC game into cartridge slot. Uh, and that's all it says there. Turn your phone into a handheld gaming device. It does indeed. The Smart Boy attaches to Android smartphones. Turn your smartphone into a handheld gaming device. It's compatible with Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges. Notice the omission of the Game Boy Advance. Um, I was reading about this and apparently it's because Hyperkin found that Game Boy Advance games took ages to dump. Basically, dumping the game from the cartridge onto the, uh, the smartphone takes a long time so they didn't bother with Game Boy Advance but as you all well know you can chuck a Game Boy Advance ROM directly onto your phone and you can play it anyway so here it says uh, it is compatible with Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges easy to install just attach the smart boy to your device pop in your favorite game and make your friends jealous you're welcome tested on current gen Samsung phones other Android device compatibility may vary as we have just pointed out this was sort of optimized I mean size wise as well it seems to have been optimized for Samsung devices um, but as you well know smartphones are much of a muchness especially Android ones and so there is a way where there's a will there is a way let me put that right where there's a will there's a way you can always make these things work so let's open this up it's got a slow slide look at that and there it is, the main event. As you can see there, it's beautiful. Look at the color. It is the color of an original Game Boy. And it's got the same sort of, let me just chuck that down, the same sort of buttons and D-pad. Um, not quite with the start and select, they were rubberized on the Game Boy, but very, very nice. So if we, uh, that's the front. Look, as you can see, Smart Boy, Hyperkin, Hyperkin there again, just in case you were wondering. Uh, let's turn that round. And look on the back as you can see up here there are triggers there are triggers having triggers on the back actually is a really interesting one because it's not compatible with Game Boy Advance games and those are the ones that required the trigger now let that sink in Hyperkin knew that people were going to chuck Game Boy Advance ROMs onto their smartphones and so that's why I figure they have put the triggers there it's a bit random but do you know what it works perfectly when you're using Game Boy Advance games so there you go on the back here hyperkin and there's the button for adjusting it look at that proper old school in the way that it clicks about and that so when that's opened up as you can see there are strips there either side 
They're sort of a spongy material, and so when you put your phone in there, it doesn't damage the sides of your phone. So that's that. On the bottom here, you can see just inside, there's the USB-C port. And what they've done is they've made this adjustable, so you can push this back and forwards by pushing that button. Some phones, the USB-C port is a bit further forward, some a bit further back. So you can kind of adjust it as in which way you want to. All right, let me just put that down, and I'm gonna show you the last thing in the box. It is the instruction manual, and they've printed it. Pretty old school, look at that. So sort of got that nostalgic feel about it. Um, you'll find that that part is English, and what it's basically saying is you can adjust to the sides, uh, and you can push back to put your phone in. It does feel like a bit of a faff the first time you do it, but when you've done it a few times, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. My phone is a OnePlus 5, and I'm finding it's quite hard to pull out, but I will show you. So yeah, all the instructions there, it tells you to download the app. You've got the Smart Boy Companion app and the My Old Boy Emulation app. So there you go. That's that, that's what you get in the box. Um, I would like to show you it up and running. So let me just pack this away and grab my smartphone. So this is my OnePlus 5. Um, it is a slightly larger version of the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. Um, slightly thinner, but it seems to fit pretty well. Now I've looked on the website and it says the OnePlus 3 is compatible. I think the OnePlus 3T as well. Um, but it doesn't say the OnePlus 5 is compatible. And I've found to make it work that you have to enable OTG storage, which is a bit annoying really. So let me just see whether this works first time. Pop that in, it slots straight in like so. Click the sides and look, nothing happens. So the trick to it is, if I just pull that out of there, and go to settings and scroll all the way down, go to advanced and then OTG storage. See, I've ticked OTG storage there. Now let's click this in, if I can. And let's see, oh, what a surprise, it works straight away. So there you go. That is the Smart Boy Companion app that I've downloaded just from the Google Play Store. Um, it's a very, very simple app, and basically what it does is it dumps the ROM of the cartridge into a folder on your device. So let me just grab a cartridge and I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, to start off I've got an original Game Boy cartridge. This is Super Mario Land. Six golden coins, Super Mario Land 2 that is. If I just shove that in the back, click it, click it in, you'll see there loading cartridge data. Takes a little bit. Actually longer than I expected it to, because it's a tiny little game. Uh, and then what you do is you do run launch software. And what that does is it opens up um, the My Old Boy emulator. And if you see at the top here, smartboy.gb, I'm just gonna click on that. And there you go. Let me just turn up the volume a little bit. Would you look at that? Stunning. Okay, so you get the idea, there you go. That is how it looks. With the cartridge in as so, and my phone in there as well. So let me just show you, oh, if I can get the angle correct. There you go. And it works beautifully. And actually it's very, very responsive. <laughs> very responsive to dying. It's hard to play while I'm here like this. Okay, so next we're just gonna chuck a Game Boy Color game in there. I've got Super Mario Bros Deluxe here, which is friggin' awesome. And let's just chuck that cartridge in. And we'll see that it takes a fair amount longer to load this one. Because it's a Game Boy Color game, it is a slightly bigger cartridge. Um, the last game, as I said, was Super Mario Land 2. Uh, smaller game, obviously, and not as good looking. So there you go, all right, there you go. The game is ready to launch. So if I click on that, then click on smartboy.gb, you shall see the game up and running. All right, let me just turn that down a little bit because it's very loud. And as you can see, I mean, come on, this is amazing. I don't know what it is, but I just feel so, I feel so comfortable with this layout. These buttons, the, the, the shape of it, the, the size of it, it looks like it's gonna be really bulky, but actually, to be honest, 
it's really comfortable, really comfortable. And look, there's Mario. You can't complain, can you? Look at that. And I died again. That's my standard review technique. Show the game and die. So there you go. Let's just lock that up. We're gonna take the game out of there. So now I'm gonna show you how to run Game Boy Advance games on this. Now you won't be able to do that in the original My Old Boy emulation app. You do need My Boy, which is the second app that plays Game Boy Advance games. If I click on that now, and then click on any one of these games that I've downloaded, let's have a look at this. You can see there, it doesn't quite fill the screen, obviously because of the, the nature of the the Game Boy Advance, it had, a, it had a wider screen, didn't it, than the original Game Boy, so it wasn't square. But, there you go. Zelda, the Minish Cap. And I'm gonna have a, there you go. Look at that, I mean, it works brilliantly. It's very responsive. It's a much more natural way of playing Game Boy games because with smartphones, inherently, the problem always comes with trying to use the touch screen for these games. It's just not good enough. It doesn't work as well. Uh, but Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games, normal Game Boy games, they all run absolutely brilliantly on smartphones, but the problem is always the buttons. So there you go, as you can see, Game Boy Advance game running beautifully. You saw me using it. So I'm gonna close that down now and I'm gonna close this down as well. Let's eject my phone out of here. And this is where I said, it's a little bit tough to get out, but it seems to be loosening, seems to be getting easier. So there you go, that is the Hyperkin Smart Boy. I've been playing with this for about a day now and it's great fun. It's a really, really nice way of uh, taking advantage of emulation on your smartphone. Uh, inherently, using a smartphone for emulation is a problem because of the touchscreen. Touchscreen retro gaming is rubbish and we all know it. So having these actual buttons is lovely. It really, really does work well. It is bulky. It is quite a big unit. Um, it's nice to have the triggers. I kind of feel like they could have slimmed this down quite a lot. Um, the fact that you can open it up like that means that it will fit a much wider phone. So if you've got a, a Galaxy Note or any of those devices, then you can just shove that in there. It will work. I'm really impressed. I actually really like this device. It is a really, really nice little quirky device, I should say. It's not going to be for everyone. Some people just want the uh, the basics of using the touchscreen for, for this purpose. But I like it. I like it a lot. And I think it actually made me want to play those retro Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games more than I would normally. The final point um, I'd like to talk about is the screen. Obviously your smartphone has an awesome screen. The original Game Boy did not. So here is my original Game Boy. Who remembers that screen? It wasn't that great. Who remembers, eh? It was pretty rough. You had to have a good light on it, shining on it, so that you could play it. Uh, and it, it wasn't great. So having the opportunity to play these games on this lovely smartphone screen is a real, real nice touch. Um, and as you can see, it's actually wider than the original Game Boy. <laughs> I just want to point that out. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Alongside it, it's taller as well. There you go. Um, but as you can see, the buttons and the D-pad are very, very similar. Look at that, they've got the same sort of touch and feel. Uh, can you see the ribs on there and the ribs on there? It is very, very similar. Thank you so much for watching the video. I know there are some pros and cons of this. Uh, the pros are, it's great, it's very nostalgic. It makes you feel like you're playing a Game Boy. Um, the screen of your phone is obviously a whole load better than the screen of a Game Boy. This does not require any batteries. Uh, it does. It is powered by your phone. So that's a real big plus. When it comes to the downsides, the cons, um, I'm finding that basically it is a little bit gimmicky. It's not something you'll carry around with you because of the sheer size of it. Also, the compatibility is a little bit up and down. It's gonna cause a lot of uh, annoyance for any of you out there with an iPhone or any of you out there with a OnePlus 5 because you have to enable OTG to make it work. For those of you out there who love your nostalgia, this is a real great little addition to your collection. Um, the buttons, the, the feel of it, the look of it, it all feels very old school and retro. So that is the Hyperkin Smart Boy. Hopefully I've shown you enough. If you wanna see any more of this or want me to tell you anything else about it, feel free to drop us a tweet or drop a comment in the comments section below. Please feel free to drop us a like if you've enjoyed the video and please feel free to subscribe to the channel. There'll be loads more content like this 
for your viewing pleasure. Thank you very much for coming along. I will see you next time.